I'm going to be demonstrating female canine urinary catheter placement on the Sindaver model. This patient is a female dog. She is placed with her hind limbs over the side of the table in order to facilitate urinary catheter placement. Ideally, this should be a very, very clean, if not ideally sterile gloves in order to pass an indwelling female urinary catheter. Positioning is really important when you're doing female catheterization. I find the most luck when they're in sternal recumbency like this. You can also do it in lateral recumbency. So I've got my sterile gloves. I've prepped with chlorhexidine or betadine. I've flushed the vaginal vestibule. I'm going to take my red rubber and I already have it nice and lubricated. I also have my non-dominant finger lubricated. This dog is a sizable dog, so I am able to fit my finger comfortably inside of the vagina without causing too much patient discomfort. If this was a small dog or a cat, I would not be able to use my finger to guide the catheter. I would simply have to know my anatomy and do this blindly. So, I have my sterile glove. I'm gonna take my non-dominant finger. I'm gonna go inside of the vulva. I'm gonna angle my finger a little bit dorsal to make sure I get completely inside of the vaginal vestibule. In a real patient, I'll have to make sort of this angle before then straightening my finger out. So I'm here and I'm occluding the cervix and uterus here with my non-dominant finger. I'm kind of lifting this vulva up with my finger. And then I'm gonna take my catheter and I'm gonna glide it along the ventral aspect of my finger and the ventral aspect of this dog's vaginal vestibule. There is a urethral papilla. If you take your finger and sweep it back and forth across the floor of the vagina, you will feel a soft tube-like structure that's exactly on midline. Sometimes it's easier to palpate than others. Now that I know approximately where my urethral papilla is, I'm going to guide this catheter into it. The point of my non-dominant finger is to prevent this catheter from going up into the cervix and vagina. So I'm going to feed this catheter in gently. This is a pretty noxious procedure, so female dogs will require some sort of sedation. It's also nice if you want to use sterile lidocaine gel to help numb the urethral tissue. I know that this catheter is in when I feel it disappearing underneath a piece of fleshy tissue. If this catheter is in the incorrect spot, I will be able to palpate it all the way to the vagina and potentially up to the cervix. I feel that this catheter is going into the urethra because I can feel the piece of tissue on top of my catheter. And I'm gonna keep feeding gently until I get to my predetermined length I've measured, hopefully before starting this process. Or if I start to get resistance or get urine flowing into the red rubber, then I know I'm in the bladder. So I'm gonna take my syringe, I'm gonna hook it up to the red rubber. It's a little difficult when you have lubricant on your fingers. And then I'm gonna aspirate and I should get urine. The urine in this dog is, is clear. So I've got a little bit of urine in my syringe. Once I'm ready and I've confirmed I'm in the correct spot, I'm gonna secure this catheter, probably use a, a finger trap suture of some sort. And then of course hook up to my closed collection set. And you can do additional securing by, you know, grabbing some of the vulva tissue and doing a finger trap around this tube. If you have a Foley catheter, you won't need to do that. You can just simply inflate the balloon and that will keep it from leaving the urinary bladder as well.